Even though it produces almost no emissions, this blast furnace is already making steel, 6,000 tonnes a day, about the weight of the Eiffel Tower. Now, Hans-Jürgen Schulokat, Germany's longest-serving blast furnace builder, has finished his job. This new blast furnace is nothing like its predecessors. The oven hearth is clean. At first sight, it's hard to believe that they're making steel here. Molten metal is all that can be seen through a window, heated to 1200 degrees Celsius. Things used to be very different. The skies used to glow red at night. Parents would say that the Christmas angel was baking biscuits. You could see the discharges from far away, see it and smell it, but that's all in the past. 28 powerful jets create the heat in the blast furnace. They force hot oxygen into the iron ore mix. I'd say it was comparable here with the speed of our jet passenger planes. We're talking here about speeds of 760, 860 kilometers an hour. The 90 meter high blast furnace is monitored from a special switch room. Just two employees there can keep an eye on the entire process. After heating, the molten steel is shifted directly into containers on rail trucks. They still drain off the molten metal from the old neighbouring furnace as they did 50 years ago. Once the molten metal is poured, a train takes it to the rolling mills for processing. The new blast furnace is the most modern of its kind and meets the strictest environmental regulations. A third of the 250 million euro investment was spent on dust catching equipment and filter systems. Delivering the raw materials was once a dirty job. But now iron ore dust should no longer damage the workers' lungs. There used to be an election slogan. I think it was Willy Brandt who said, the skies over the Ruhr must be blue again. That was in 1960, an exceedingly long time ago. But a very great deal has happened. We've got clean air, not much dust anymore, and lots of greenery in our area. I grew up here in Hamborn, and it wasn't like that when I was a child. Schulokat takes another look at his final project. He's 64 and has built around 40 blast furnaces over the years. So now he can look forward to a well-earned retirement. <laughs>